doesn't bug me. What people say? No. My give a f is broke. I really don't have that. I'm no, no concern for what people think. And I have to say, I have never met an inmate who made me so uncomfortable. What did you do that you would consider torture? Ripped his teeth out. That's my favorite. How'd you do that? With some needle nose pliers. Kind of rip, you know. The visceral descriptions that she gave of her crime, of torturing an individual and dismembering her victim, I had never heard anybody describe anything like that, and I had certainly never heard anybody describe it with such glee. So it was your pleasure when you committed this murder? <laughs> See, that's kind of up. I'm thinking, I don't know what my lawyer would say if I answered that straight out. Hold on, yes. Yes, it was. But, uh, yeah. It was really extraordinarily disturbing. I still think about it. It's pretty rewarding work. It was great for the soul. What were you trying to get out of him? He thought it was funny that the people he had snitched on would never get out of prison, so I wanted him to know how funny it was that they didn't need to. And I guess the strange thing for me was, during the whole interview, I was two feet from her. Uh, I was holding a reflector to try to block some stray light, and as she's telling these stories... Can you describe me the things you did? No. No, because I'll get all excited and he'll be in trouble. No, I don't think I should do that. Yeah, yeah, he's too close for me to, you know, get all hot with the story, so leave that alone. And I just laughed it off thinking it was this big joke, and as she told her story, I realized, well, maybe she wasn't joking. Is it hard to chop up a human body? Nah, not really. You'd be amazed. It's quite simple, actually. You should try it. It's only a felony six. Knock it down to a misdemeanor. Dismemberment is it's a really low charge. Sometimes it seemed like she was playing a game, and then other times you could tell that it wasn't a game anymore, but she was l reciting something that she actually, you know, something that she liked to talk about. Every now and then I would pop in and just go talk to Angela, check in with her, and a lot of times she would just be sitting there drawing, and she would always be in a zen-like state, just very calm while she was sitting here doing her drawings. She told me she'd done some drawings for some Christmas cards, and I was expecting to see, you know, something happy or light for some reason, I don't know why, and these drawings ended up being probably some of the most graphic things I've ever seen. This was my first Officer Down picture. It's just in my Officer Down series. Your Officer Down series? Tell me about that. Five or six Officer Down. What's happening in this picture? Um, a cop has been captured, and we're having fun with him. Yeah, it's just a Christmas card, but they get uncomfortable when they find these things. When I saw Angela's drawings, they were so disturbing, and they really got to this this deep, deep, deep-seated hatred that she seems to have for police officers. They use their authority in any way they want to because they can, and there's nothing anybody can do about it. Simpson went on to explain how she ranks those she considers to be the lowest of the laws. Trilmos are definitely, definitely, beyond any doubt, the worst and most vile creatures on the planet. Yes. Snitches then would come in second, and cops would be third. Yeah. How about people murder other people? What about them? Where do they fall? In where? In your hierarchy. Of badness? They don't. You want to throw murderers in with cops and chomos? Are you serious? <laughs> You're kidding, right? <laughs> you can't put murderers in a category with f***ed up people. That doesn't make any sense. Rest assured, if somebody killed it, they had a reason to do it. You need to be looking at the dead mother not the mother that killed it. Do you have any guilt about any of that stuff? Guilt, yes. I'm overrun with remorse. <laughs> Justice is lovely. What are you thinking? Uh, when I said justice is lovely, what were you thinking? I was thinking how you feel about justice if they give you that. That's exactly what I knew you were thinking. <laughs> 
I'll be thinking the same thing. That justice is beautiful. Justice is lovely.